Hope for Life Initiative is a registered non-governmental organization, NGO, with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria. It is best out of the need to impact the lives of disadvantaged children, children in danger, and widows. To assist children and widows who are disadvantaged and in crisis situations, reduce illiteracy rates in the communities we work with an increased income earning opportunities and improve health care for widows through workshops and seminars. In Nigeria today, according to statistics by UNICEF, about 6 million children are malnourished and the United Nations Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization, UNESCO, says more than 10 million children in Nigeria are currently out of school. The figure is higher as it excludes the children of fishermen in the Niger Delta and those attending the Aomajiris in the north. 40% of Nigerian children aged 6 to 11 do not attend any primary school with the northern region recording the lowest school attendance rate in the country, particularly for girls. Another challenge in Nigeria is the issue of girls' education. In the North particularly, the gender gap remains particularly wide and the proportion of girls to boys in school ranges from one girl to two boys to one to three in some states. Many children do not attend school because their labor is needed to either help at home or to bring additional income into the family. Many families cannot afford the associated cost of sending their children to school, such as uniforms and textbooks. In view of this, the target of the organization is to equip children who suffer from untold hardship to be successful individuals and citizens. To mentor youths with life-changing seminars and workshops. To help young people make right choices and have a purpose-driven life. To encourage and provide a platform for improving the quality of life of youths and widows. To also empower widows to be self-reliant. Hope for Life Initiative organizes seminars at schools and rural communities for the purpose of mentoring the students. This has created a program where children in school are mentored by individuals who become positive role models. This helps to build the child's self-esteem and school performance. At the same time, having a fulfilling learning time. Selected mentors, on the other hand, experience a sense of discovery and enjoyment as they see the world of possibilities open up for the children. My name is Watch Testimony from Michelle Compressi Junior High School. I'm here to share little life with you, the organization that works with the school, Hope for Life Organization. We want them to come more and teach us and make us learn on all what they've been teaching us. From whatever background that we come from, that we can still be someone in life. My name is Mary Jane Ubidia. I am from Michelle Compressi Junior High School. The organization is school. I met them when I was 12, but now I'm 13. I, since, ever since then, I've been a different person. I've been a good girl. Even my parents, all of them were surprised. And also, the organization tells me about my behavior, about behaving good, about our careers, and it does not, it does not determine from where we are brought up. Even though we are from the poor, we can still live a better life. We can still focus on what we want to be. The girl, I'm from Michelle from Press in Junior High School. I want to talk about the organization that works with our school. And the organization helped me a lot. When I was working, I was a very stubborn girl, but now after meeting with the organization, I was a very serious girl. I am Mr. Adit Mile Adidiji, the principal of the Shaw Compressive Junior High School, Ecology. We have been interacting for over years, and this interaction has benefited my students. They have gains that will be the leaders of tomorrow. We are in the rural setting. My students, they now know the benefits of interacting 
with other people outside their domain. Most of them have been yani that they want to be this, they want to be that, and some of them they don't know that the sky is the limit. But right now, they are always wanting to move higher. I'm a member of the um, Hope for Life Initiative, an, N an NGO, non-governmental organization, and I've learned a lot positively. It has impacted my life positively. It taught me how to go about my daily life, my social life, my academic life, how to face challenges and difficulties, how to overcome challenges when you're having problems, what you have to do. And it taught me morals. And I'm also a member of Hope for Life in CC. Since when I've been going to their program, I've learned about value, about how to associate with people, and how to bring out the talent, the talent in me. I've learned from all their mentors that we've invited, which helped me in this life to so know where I'm going. To. My name is Odi Ekmeyemi. I'm a bona fide student of Iron Boy High School. I'm a member of the Hope for Life Initiative. I've learned so many things since when I've been to the program, just like values, morals, skillful art, how to develop myself in my day-to-day -day activities. I am very happy to be at close relationship with um, Hope for Life Initiative. It's a non-governmental organization that has been coming forward to change the life of our children and to know them in a positive life and to choose a good career. I could trace our relationship to as far back as 20, the year 2010. That time they came with some white men and spoke to our children because of the drift of students from the local areas to the center, hoping that there are greener passions. These children were cancelled to stay and pursue their studies vigorously. Widows in Nigeria experience severe economic and social problems. The UN General Assembly in 2010 gave a higher number of widows affected to be 21%. In Nigeria today, many widows are suspected by family members of deceased spouse for being responsible for the deaths of the departed husbands when it is sudden. And to prove our innocence, the bereaved widow is subjected to all kinds of humiliations by the diseased community. In Southeast Nigeria, widows are often subjected to the discriminatory right of confinement for a period of up to one year. Confined widows must live under severe social restrictions and are often forced to shave their heads and dress in black. In other areas, Nigerian widows are considered part of their husband's property and can be inherited by his family members. Sometimes, the widow is compelled to perform ablution rituals to prove her innocence. The widows involved with her programs develop skills, become confident, and survive harsh economic situations. These widows, after acquiring new skills, can come out of the situation with the greatest hope for the future. Hope for Life Initiative therefore assists in improving existing resources and developing opportunities for the impoverished children and widows in our society and country. <laughs> Every <laughs> 